What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so we're continuing our birthday marathon right here, day one, with another episode. And yes, this time we are going to be taking on Byron, the gym leader of the Candlelave City Gym. And well, as many of you guys already know, yes, he is a steel type gym leader. So uh, let's go right ahead and uh, modify this team a little bit, okay? So I know Kit Thunder can actually do the job, but it is a risky situation going up against this uh, steel type gym leader because, uh, yeah, sometimes they might bring in, you know, that ground type for coverage and all that crud. Yeah. Anywho, let's go straight to the gym. We're going to go straight. We're going to go straight to it. I mean, no, no BSing or anything like that. Just let's go to the gym. Work out. Let's get this. And, well, talk to this man right here. Hey there, champ to be. The gym leader here uses steel tap Pokemon. steel tap Pokemon have high defense, so you'll have to hit them hard. That's it? Okay, well, never mind. Anywho, let's go ahead and start battling some people right here. Again, steel tap Pokemon. Anywho, guys, yes, good old Draven, your host right here, is turning the big old 3-2. What am I doing for my birthday? I do not know because I'm pre-recording this whole thing. Uh, so let me talk about what I normally do on birthdays, guys. Um, call me boring. I don't know. Uh, growing up, growing up, uh, yeah, my birthday. I'm not saying that my birthday is not a big deal. I'm just saying that uh, growing up as a kid, uh, my birthday was never really like you know, never really had a party per se. I've only had like at least one party that I remember. So, I don't know if that, like, I don't know what, what, what you guys might say. Uh, it, to me, that's pretty normal because, you know, I wasn't really that spoiled. And that's fine by me. Uh, growing up later on, you know, uh, I've learned that, you know, my birthday shouldn't just be about parties or this or that. It should be spending some time uh, with the people you love, doing the things that you love and all that stuff. And right here, this is what I love doing. I love entertaining you guys right here on YouTube and other such, you know, I love doing other things as well. Um, I can tell you this: that my 28th birthday was probably the best one. I can talk to you. I can talk to you guys' ears off about that. I mean, from start to finish, my birthday was pretty good. It all ended up with me and my sister eating some uh, some sandwiches that we used to eat as kids. I'm pretty sure some of you uh, old, like some of the older uh, crowd right here who watches my channels, know what I'm talking about. But every summer. Okay, as kids, me and my sister would uh would often do sandwiches, uh, sandwiches with uh, what was it, Doritos, uh, Cheetos, any kind of chips. Not you know, not disgusting ass chips, but you know, any kind of chips, and put them in the sandwich with our, you know, ham bacon or whatever it is. But that's kind of the that's kind of our thing. I know some of you guys out there know what I'm talking about, but it was some kind of thing that we used to do as kids after we got out of the pool and, and enjoyed our summer. And, you know, we actually got to do that as adults, which was pretty uh, well, pretty reminiscent of the stuff that, you know, which is pretty fun. It was very fun. And on top of that, I got to spend time with my sister and my niece, which is always great. Uh, family and all that stuff. And uh, funny thing too, guys, I would always spend time uh, on football practice. Kind of like this year. Um, yeah, we got practice. Uh, we got practice on my birthday, and so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be spending time doing what I love. And that's coaching kids. You know, getting after it, trying to win another championship. Speaking of which, many of you guys already noticed. Yes, good old Draven has won his sixth championship. This time in the adult leagues. Yes, my hands are getting too heavy, and it, yes, we're going to go with that same joke that Tom Brady has. What's my favorite ring? The next one. And, uh, you know, th that's kind of how it is. So comment down below on how you guys spend your birthdays. How will you guys spend your birthdays? Uh, me, you know, typical boring kind of guy and all that stuff. Uh, gifts. If you guys want to know about gifts, <laughs> you know, growing up as a kid, you would kind of think that you would get, like, the gift that you want. Like, there's two, there's probably two uh, holidays that you guys uh, look forward to, and that is... Christmas and your birthday not really a holiday, but you guys know exactly what I'm talking about And you'd be hoping to get like the latest gift the latest toy video game and all that crud me Growing up like I said not a lot of parties, but I would get a gift and You know, I, I guess that's the way my, my family raised me and all that stuff and it's nothing too bad uh, It's kind of lost nowadays that you know 
kids get uh, like they get a, a buttload of gifts just because well you know it's their birthday and all that stuff for me I, I kind of feel like my, my parents did it the right way just because I wasn't too spoiled but I still got something in return um, holy crud I got out of here uh, as an adult I guess you could say that gifts any kind of gifts that I would get if it was if it's a thoughtful gift like last year my client w got me a brand new backpack that well that, that is spe uh, specific or specialized for like the kind of things that I do that kind of gift right there is thoughtful and you know for me it's like okay well that, that like I needed a I needed a new backpack I've been using the same backpack since I was in college you know so yeah, it's things like that it's the, it's the little things that count for me like I said guys if you meet me in real life, like in, in person, yes, I'm one of those boring adults. Right here, this is where I just like, you know, let everything go and just play play the games that I love playing and all that stuff. Um, what else do I do on my birthday? Huh. Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I always buy, I always buy, I always treat myself to something. Like something. Like if there is something that I want to buy that I, I, I feel like I, 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 I can get, then I just treat myself to that one thing. I remember as a 19, 20 year old saving up a lot of money or having a little bit of that financial aid money. Bam! I would get myself an iPod when they were still a thing. A big old iPod, uh, 64 gigs, just to put as many songs as possible. Um, I think last year, I, I think I bought a Pokemon game. I don't even know. Oh wait, that's the stipend money. <laughs> I don't even know, guys. Again, adulting. Don't try it. Don't try it out, guys. <laughs> Andy here. Let's go right here and continue on battling everybody right here. It, it, the puzzle's the same thing. Oh, yeah. We're coming out of the swing with super heavy judo chops. Huh? Here we have, uh, here we have Austin Powers' his brother, Judo Chop. If you guys haven't watched that movie, then I, I, I feel bad for you. So here we go. Take it on an onyx. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Birthday. Birthday. What do I expect on my birthday this year? You know what? Mom's home cooking. Yeah, I'm expecting that. She always uh, cooks me something great. I'm taking advantage of all that stuff. Uh, last year it was... Huh. Last year it was uh, a boatload of tacos. <sighs> Hopefully this year it's probably going to be like me. Maybe enchiladas or something. Yes, I have a thing for Mexican food. Leave me the heck alone, guys. And, well, here we go. Steelix. I almost wanted to use a Steelix on this team. That, that that's another thing right here guys when um, playing replaying these games and all that stuff I've always kind of thought to myself what would it be like having a Steelix on your team hmm it is slow but you know it's pretty it's pretty useful in some ways and all that stuff and look at that Hydra's learning hydro pump and well let's see what kind of move should I replace it with well aqua tail hydro pump you know what just this once let's give it a hydro pump not really going to use it as much. It's not as accurate. It's a big risk, but you know what? I, I, I never really, I never really give it to a Pokemon just because of the accuracy factor and all that stuff. So, there we go. We defeated another trainer, and well, let's move on right here. Man, this is uh, taking a while right here. Okay, so going right here. Still, again, I can't believe we look like Chibis right here. And here we have another trainer. What is she like? By focusing on only one type, you can really see the strengths and weaknesses of that Pokemon. Yeah, that is true. And right now, I got all your weaknesses. And here we have Ace Trainer Brianna. 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 I don't even know how to pronounce it, but here she has a Zoomerl. Okay, so what's the point of having a Steel type if you. Oh, well, what's the point of having that Pokemon? Yeah, its weakness is a. Uh, is, uh, it's still a, flo a fairy type Pokemon. So. Let's go with Kid Thunder right here. And yes, let's go, Kid Thunder. What's up? How you doing, homeboy? And here comes a play rough attack. That's not that's not that good. Alright, Kid Thunder. Your attack fell, but guess what? Discharge is a fi it's not a physical attack, it's more of a what? Special? Yes it is. Okay, so there we go. Special attack for the win. There goes a zoom roll. Okay, and well, look at that. Our Pokemon are just growing. 
Still can't wait to get a... Uh, uh, well, that's... I still can't wait to evolve my Rosemond. Okay, so that's that. Let's move on our head right here. See if this is actually... Well, it goes down. And... I know something. Big red box usually means gym leader. And look at this. Bam! Gym leader's right there. Okay. Whew. Alrighty. So, after talking about my life a little bit, let's go ahead and... Use a well. Let's use up all these potions right here. Yeah, that's that's just me. Oh, another potion right here. Okay, so like, see, there's one more thing that we need to do. Hmm. Ether. Um, I think we have no. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we're we're just gonna battle this guy. Okay, bring it on. The pop screen right here. Look at that chibi form. Ah, that's the Orberg Gym Badge. I see, I see, you defeated my son. But that's no surprise. He still has much to learn. In place of my son, Rourke, I, Byron, will accept your challenge. Okay, here we go. Taking on uh, good old Byron. He's got a beard gang going on right here. And yes, he is a Steel-type Gym Leader. And he's going to be coming out with his Bronzor right here. Yes, Bronzor. Kind of like Matang. Or not Matang. Yeah, kind of like Matang. Ba Beldum and all that stuff. Psychic and Steel. Beware of uh, beware of his Psychic attacks because, well, if you do have a fighting type Pokemon, well, you're SOL right there. So here we go. Flamethrower for the win. And there we go. Flamethrower does it. No more Bronzor. Uh, another thing too, guys. Steel, Steel type Pokemon are capable of having Sturdy as an effect. Uh, yeah, be aware of that. Now, here he's going to be coming out with a Steelix, so I'm going to go straight to Hydra. Mainly because I kind of feel Steelix has a a sturdy technique or effect. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Alrighty. Bring it on. There it is. A Steelix. Battle of the Snake Pokemon right here. Steel and Water slash uh, Flying type. And yes, we're going to be doing our Hydro Pump right here. Hopefully it actually works. Here, Hydro Pump. Bam! For the win! And, well, like I said, it does have that sturdy effect, so... Yeah, it's gonna live for just a little bit. Okay, so we're waiting the directions, and I, I'm gonna use a... Wow, Hydro Pump again. So you only get one, and there comes a Thunder Fang. That right there is quadruple damage, and... Well, let's see. Let's go with a Bulldoze Attack. This will actually work a little bit better. Bam! Alrighty. There goes Steelix. Yes, I am throwing out that peace sign because look at that. We're defeating this guy pretty quickly right here. And luckily for us, we do have we're, we are equipped with the shell bell, so that's actually going to work and Toothless is growing levels like crazy again. And he's going to be coming out with the Bastiodon. Yes, the name says it all. It's both ground and uh, ground and what you might call it, uh, steel. But you know what? I'm going to stick with the Hydro right here. Oh, what's this? My last one. This is where we make our stand. All right. Not going to risk it. Just going to take on Bastiodon. And this is new right here. So we're going to go with the Hydro Pump. But unfortunately we miss. This is the reason why I... Oh, crap, Baskets. Okay. Because our Pokemon loves us a lot. Yeah, it survived. So let's go one more Hydro Pump. And here it is. Hydro Pump. That is a super effective. And... Well, we're going to heal up just a tad bit. But that... Yeah, and oh, okay, so this Pokemon has a berry, so there's its healing process right there, and here comes a Thunderbolt, and <laughs> that's right, our Pokemon loves us, so that means it will survive, so now, time to finish him off, Bulldoze Attack, hopefully for the win, and that right there takes care of Bastiodon, love that name, Bastiodon. That's right, guys. Dinosaur Pokemon do not survive. And the love always prevails right here. That's right. And yes, our Pokemon gaining levels. Kid Thunder grows to level 43. And well, we have defeated Byron. He's T Bowing right here. Hmm, my sturdy Pokemon defeated. Yes, we get lots of monies for this one right here. And well, let's see. You were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon. In recognition of that power, I will give you this the Mind Badge. Bam! So there it is, guys. Six badges. 
two extra badges right here on uh, my birthday weekend. Yeah, hell yeah. Having the Mind Badge enables you to use the Hidden Power Strength from your Pokétech anytime. You now have six badges. That means all Pokémon up to level 70 will obey you without any question. Here, take these two. And we get ourselves some stickers. That's all, those are always nice, yes. And a few TM91s. Again, still can't believe they made TMs, uh, you know, not infinite and stuff. Each TM91 contains the move Flash Cannon. It hits, it also lowers the, spe uh, the target special defense. Okay. <laughs> the Sinnoh uh, region is vast. Tough trainers like you and Barry crop up constantly to challenge our old guard. With more young trainers like you and my son taking charge, the future Pokemon is bright. But I'm not stepping aside just yet. I merely need to rededicate myself to the training of Iron Island. Okay. So we might be seeing them there, Iron Island, anybody? And look at that, uh, our hidden moves, or, you know, yeah, our hidden moves application is full. Wow, okay. So we've accomplished a lot, and why are we going in a circle? Oh, there it is, yeah, okay, we're gonna go right here. And we're going all the way down. Imagine how our stomach must feel going all the way down like that, at that speed. Okay. Let's see, we're talking to this guy. Oh, Draven, you've beaten the gym leader. Good going. That makes it, that makes it six badges. I tell you what, you're really turning into one fine trainer. If you were to say you're going to become the Pokemon champ, no, no one laughed at, or no one would laugh at you now. I'm in your corner, kiddo. So we got a bandwagoner. That's pretty cool right there. So once you step outside the gym, here's Barry, you know, the fake Ace Ventura. Hey, it's the Mind Badge. Good going. You're even tough enough to take a shot at becoming a Pokemon champion. Of course, I'm tougher, so that that's not actually going to happen. Seriously, man, I'm throwing that middle finger at you. I cannot wait to humiliate you like the last time. Anyways, Draven, come with me to the library. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Not in this episode. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going straight to the Pokemon Center because nobody tells me what to do, okay? So, anywho, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, that badge right there. Actually, not there. Uh, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Huh, That's you learn something every day. Anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at six badges right there, guys. And, yes, I will polish it. But, look, we got two more badges to go, and this will enable us to go up north of Sinnoh, which, you know, is going to be exciting. So... The marathon continues, guys. I am going to heal up my Pokemon, and in the next episode, we might be taking on something different or something. I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. But anywho, guys, make sure to hit the, the subscribe button, the notifications button, and if you guys want to make a small donation right here onto this channel, the link is right there on the description below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go to the library. See you guys.